Welcome to our presentation about uh, wind-based uh, AI, uh, about the development of a machine learning based tool for wind turbine foundation design. My name is Lex van der Meer. Uh, I'm a finite element specialist at ABT and WinBase. Uh, and with me today are uh, Kinsho Shen from University of Twente, uh, who is a former uh, graduation student at our company, and my colleague Jeffrey, who is a data scientist. We would like to also acknowledge uh, the support of Dr. Farid Fadati Kaki from University of Twente, who uh, was a supervisor of Shen during the writing of his master thesis. We have split up our presentation into three parts. I will explain the first part about why we wanted to develop a machine learning based tool for wind turbine foundation design. Then um, Shen will explain and elaborate more about the development of this tool. And to conclude, uh, Jeffrey will tell something about how we implemented this tool into our design process. So Windbase uh, is a company that uh, uh, does various engineering services for the wind energy world. And the core business is the design of wind turbine foundations. A wind turbine foundation is uh, uh, used to transfer the loads from the turbine and the tower uh, into the soil and to prevent the tower from tipping over. With the soft soils that we have in the Netherlands, usually uh, it's a piled foundation. At Windbase, we use 3D nonlinear finite element analysis of wind turbine foundations. Uh, to gain optimized designs. Other companies use usually more traditional design methods, um, which lead to conservative designs with a lot of excess material usage. Our designs are able to save a lot of material, thereby reducing CO2 emissions, uh, reducing costs, but also uh, having a more efficient and safe construction method. This all comes at the cost of longer analysis time. For the prelim preliminary design, uh, that longer analysis time is not uh, what we want because we cannot wait 50 hours uh, to know if one design is satisfactory. Therefore, we have developed a simplified finite element model, which is also nonlinear uh, but because it's in certain aspects simplified, it can calculate roughly the same thing in one hour time. But it's conservative compared to the full 3D model. But we are not really satisfied by, able, by the ability to calculate only one variant per hour. And therefore, um, we wanted to develop a model which is much faster so that we can ca calculate millions of variants and get insight into the full design domain. And that's where the machine learning comes into play. And I would like to introduce Shen, who is going to explain more about the development of the machine learning model. Thank you, Lex. So as uh, introduced and described by Lex, the traditional FEA-based design optimization method for the uh, wind turbine foundations uh, is too time-consuming. So uh, what we can think uh, in order to solve the, uh, the lengthy optimization process, we can make use of this uh, the concept of the meta-modeling technique. So we can create and uh, uh, use the mathematical approximation of the original uh, simulation model as the surrogate to streamline the actual uh, design optimization process. And uh, thanks to the rapid development of the machine learning techniques, we can have the required um, computational speed as well as the accuracy using the machine learning models to create 
such kind of meta model for the uh, uh, surrogating the uh, uh, original simulation model for the deep sigh optimization. So how are we going to do that? We propose uh, this uh, framework, uh, which can be divided into two parts. The first part is um, the establishment of the data set, which can be used for the machine learning model uh, development. And the second part is the uh, actual developing process of the machine learning models. So um, for the first part, the purpose of the data set establishment is to ensure that we have the consistent data structure, which can enable us to do the, uh, the training as well as the validation of the machine learning models. So as you can see, uh, we identified uh, several key design parameters from the actual design of the wind turbine foundations. And in the end, we use them as the uh, input feature of the data set. So, and accordingly, with the help of the WinBase and uh, make, uh, based on their database, we create more than 2,000 uh, FEM models using 2.5D uh, models, so which can enable us to obtain the corresponding outputs of the dataset, which is mainly concerned with the moment rotation uh, behavior of the wind turbine foundations. So, However, we simplified the, uh, the moment rotation diagram as shown on the left side of the screen uh, into four key points, so which can enable us to convert the whole problem into a multi-output regression problem. And uh, in order to tackle this multi-output regression problem, we select two machine learning algorithms considering their uh, scalability, uh, speed, accuracy as well as the interpretability, namely random forest and the feed forward neural network. So uh, for the actual developing process of the machine learning model, we have the following uh, framework. It will start with the usage of the k-fold cross -vali uh, validation to enable us to split our data set. Um, meanwhile, we also use the genetic uh, algorithm to uh, conduct the feature selection as well as the uh, hyperparameter optimization to ensure that in the end we can have the, the best configuration leads to the best uh, predictive performance. So in order to validate our framework, we conduct the case study. Um, so according to the result, here's the result of the regression plots regarding the multi-output random forest model. So we can clearly see that it can in the end give us the very um, desirable predictive performance, the accuracy, which also indicates that even if we increase the complexity for the machine learning modeling, but in the end we can still ensure we can get the uh, desirable result. And now I would like to leave the stage to, uh, to Jeffrey who will uh, further uh, introduce how we uh, exactly implement the machine learning into the design process. Thank you, Shen. <clears throat> yes, uh, so within ABT, we believe in AI democratization, which means that we want to make our tools and data as accessible and easy as possible and directly bring it towards the users, in our case, the designers of the wind turbine foundations. Uh, with that philosophy in mind, we decided to directly implement it into the already existing workflow. Uh, and that workflow uh, is based around a large Excel sheet where all the input parameters and the requirements are stored. Traditionally, uh, they, uh, the designers would uh, design something based on their knowledge and on the requirements of the project and then they would contact one of our FEA specialists uh, who do, does a, a FEA calculation and uh, then he gives feedback to the designer which the designer can use to improve the result uh, of the model. Now this is uh, an iterative circle of course uh, because after the improvement has been done we need to do a new calculation which may lead to new uh, suggestions for an even better model and we want to uh, move that iterative circle to earlier in the process and also make it easier and that's what, why we added a button in the excel sheet 
And what that button does is it collects all the relevant parameters and it sends those towards an Azure function. And that is where the machine learning algorithm is hosted. Uh, that does the calculation and sends back the key points of the moment rotation diagram, which may be used to determine the capacity and stiffness of the model. So that's visualized, uh, for example, in the diagram you see to the left here, where, for example, the uh, requirements or design criteria might be uh, shown by the red line and the capacity might be derived from the blue line. Uh, and we can even uh, show multiple results, for example, closely related to the initial design, so that the designer can already uh, see which of the designs will be best and can even tweak the model a bit uh, before he does a single calculation. And the main feature of this is that it's all done within a matter of seconds instead of several hours or perhaps even days if the FEA specialists are busy at the moment. But we can even take that one step further. For example, what we can do is uh, we can already calculate thousands of models before we even uh, start the design process. And we did that and we combined all those into a dashboard. And based on some simple design logic and uh, the requirements of a certain project, a designer can uh, tweak the model based on the sliders in this dashboard to select which model will be uh, sufficient for the requirements of the project and will be the most efficient one, for example, in terms of material usage or cost. And that all leads to better uh, designs and also at a faster time. So to conclude, uh, we've had a very successful experiment using machine learning, which leads, leads to a more efficient design process. Uh, it's a lot faster, but it's still very accurate, accurate enough that we can base our designs on it. Uh, and that leaves more room for optimization uh, for our designers. The next step, of course, uh, will be to uh, expand on this database to include a full 3D nonlinear FE model so that we can get even uh, better estimates of the actual capacities uh, that we expect. Thank you all for listening.